Welcome back in tonight's Military Matters. The men and women who fight for our freedoms often struggle to find employment beyond the military, despite being highly qualified. But the USO Pathfinder program is helping pair veterans with a chance at a successful life outside the military. And we want to shed some light on that. Six News military reporter Barry Roy brings us the story of a man who through his skill of photography is now working at a job that he loves, all thanks to the USO Pathfinder program. This is Stan Balser. He's living proof of the success of the USO Pathfinder program that helps those transitioning out of the service find meaning, work, and life after the military. Like many transitioning service members, I would probably be in my second or third job right now. Stan enlisted in the United States Army in 1988 as a cavalry scout. He watched the fall of the Berlin Wall during the Cold War and served in the Gulf with a plan to get out of the military and pursue a college degree. My leadership talked to me at that time about staying in a few more years. Stan says he saw the benefit and witnessed how our country was helping others. He knew that's what he wanted to be a part of and ended up staying in the military for 30 years and 22 days, a career that took him across the globe and into the Middle East multiple times. Today, Stan is a successful photographer and drone operator for the Shine Team Realtor in Harker Heights, combining his love of photography into a full-time job as a digital marketing and social media director. I've been retired two and a half years uh, because of the internship program I went through. Uh, I'm coming up on three years with the same company. That internship is called Hire Our Heroes and began 90 days before he retired from the military. He was directed there through the USO Pathfinder program Pathfinder cared, he says. They listened and guided him and rooted for him every step of the way. No one wants to be that negative statistic. So you want to get out there, have a positive impact, put your best foot forward, and the USO Pathfinder gave me the opportunity to do that. Reporting for 6 News, I'm Barry Roy. And Stan wants transitioning soldiers and veterans to know it's okay to refuse a first job offer mm -hmm. if it's not the right fit. Yep, the goal, longevity and happiness and saying no until you find that is perfectly okay. It definitely is okay. Don't ever have to take the first job. Absolutely, and when you see the success, you get yourself a real happy ex-veteran. Absolutely. It's true. Like, just like Marines, right? You're never an ex-Marine, you're a Marine for life. Always. Well, yep. the USO Fort Hood Yellow Ribbon Telethon, which helps put on programs like this, is tomorrow, guys. It is airing right here at 2 p.m. from the 6 News Studio, and Chris will be out at the USO on Fort Hood. This year's telethon brought to you by Sport Clips and Paul Mitchell, and like you just saw, the USO provides dozens of services, services to military families, military members, year-round entertainment, help with food, and obviously help with employment, like Barry just showed us.